Wow, good morning. My name is Ruben P. Machibida. And of course, uh, a lesson second, like a promise that we'll be getting to him, uh, is, a, is actually um, a football player uh, who plays for the Uganda Cranes and is actually playing in Morocco. Uh, that is uh, for the club uh, called Mogre uh, Tetua. Uh, so, um, Senkatu Kaubba is actually online, and of course, he will be talking to us like we, what we had with uh, Rumala. Uh, Senkatu Kaubba will be talking to us, to us as well, and sharing with us uh, ba, ba, how uh, his uh, life is, how uh, life is uh, ba, when there's no football, and of course, how safe he is, and we need him alive as a striker. And Nelson, good morning. Good morning. Um, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. How have you been? How have you been? I'm okay. Um, it's a bit early here. It's about 5.40 a.m., but yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, good to have you. Good to see you. I last actually watched you when you played for Bright, Bright, Bright Stars. That was uh, way back before you moved to Morocco. Let's start Thank with... Thank you for uh, having me. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's start with uh, the simple question. Who is Nelson? Nelson? Yes, <laughs> are you there? We must have lost Nelson Sekatuka there, but of course, uh, uh, Nelson was born on the 10th of September 1997. Nelson, can you get me? Hello? Yes, Nelson? I can hear you now. Okay, yeah, I can also get you as well. Uh, what I was actually asking, uh, Ugandans would love to know who is Nelson Sekatuka? Um, Nelson Senkatuka is a football player for Mogreb Athletic Otetuan yeah. and a Ghana Crane striker and uh, yeah, dream chasing. Okay. Um, when did you start your football career, Nelson? Um, I started playing football from a young age. Um, my dad introduced me to the Kids Holiday Football Clinic. Mm. Um, after that, I joined the KKL. Um, it was... Kampla Kids League at that time it was played at Aga Khan. And yeah, it was just playing football the weekends, having fun with your friends. And from there, um, I developed the passion for playing football. And I went on to play at high school. And then I started playing professionally for Hope FC um, after my high school. Okay, uh, my name is on your live on UBC TV. And of course, uh, my next question should go to uh, the international call up. When you first called up for the Cranes duty, how did you feel and when was it? Um, my first call up was in 2015 when I just come back up from the UK mm. when I was playing for KTC and I got the call to go for the Sukapa tournament in Ethiopia. Um, it was under Coach Mitchell. Yeah. Um, I'd only been in Uganda for about three months, so it was really um, a big achievement for me to be called up to the national team. Mm. and go for the Sikafa in Ethiopia and win the tournament as well. Okay. Um, of course, uh, when, when you're called up for the national team, there are people you connect to uh, as players uh, very easily. N name some players uh, who made life easier for you when you were called up for national duty. Um, obviously, being in KCC at the time, um, many of my teammates at KCC were called up as well. Uh, Ivan Tege was my movement at the time, so he made it very easy for me. Um, Risa Sechisambo, Kezirwan Chizito, Mia Farouk, yes. Okay, um, so many uh, players there, Sechisambo, uh, Mia. Of course, Mia is a great, great player, if you ask me. And Sechisambo uh, is back to KCCA, he's actually playing for KCCA. Uh, so, Nelson, yeah. let's, let's, let's go back uh, to life in Morocco. How is life in Morocco? Um, life in Morocco is very good, actually. Um, I'm enjoying it here. People are very friendly. Um, they're very welcoming. Um, the weather is good. And yeah, it's, it's a very good experience I'm having right here. Okay. Um, uh, but still with Morocco, uh, the team we play for, um, that is uh, Mogreb uh, Tetua. Uh, but your teammates, can you talk about your teammates? Uh, who is your friend and who is actually who makes it? Uh, but who would you want to visit all the time? Uh, but, uh, as, 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 uh, uh, okay, the question should be. There are so many uh, 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 players at, uh, that, at your club, that is uh, Mogreb uh, Totoa. As, and uh, yes. you have friends there. I know you have friends within the, within the team. So who is that close person you would always want to be part of the team and play with in the, in the team? 
Um, many of my teammates actually don't speak very good English. Um, mm. They hardly speak English. They speak French, um, Spanish, and Arabic. But there's two or three players that speak English. So um, there's Hilal Ferdowsi. Um, he's one of my close friends here in Morocco. Yeah. He speaks good English. And then obviously there's Tony from Nigeria. There's Isoko from Mali. Mm. And there's Maka from Tanzania. Me and Maka get along very well because the East African connections. So okay. <laughs> yes, we always visit each other and we're always helping each other out every day in training and during the games. The, the, last, the, the last time I watched you for bright, playing for Bright Stars, you were such a pesky and skill, skillful, play, skillful player. So, Nelson, tell mm -hmm. me, when, when, when you first attack defenders and they, they make life hard for you, how do you handle such situations? Um, when you face a tough defender, you have to you have to study his strong points um, and his weaknesses. Um, maybe the big defenders are usually a bit slower, and um, the small defenders m m might be intelligent. But always, because it's a team game, it's very easy to beat any defender. Sometimes your teammate can help you beat the defender, maybe by playing a one-two, or you you use you always dribble to his weaker foot. So sometimes you analyze these weak points and try to use them to your advantage. Okay. Um, as a football Nelson, I know you love playing football. So outside the football, which, which other game or would you prefer playing? Um, I like motorsport. Um, my dad is actually the vice chairman of the motorsport in Uganda. Okay. Um, yeah, I like going to see the rallies and hopefully maybe after football I might be a rally driver. Okay, uh, so have you, have you ever practiced a uh, motorsport? Have you ever sat in that uh, motor rally car and you, you cruised around? Um, my mom wouldn't allow me to drive, obviously, because she's, um, she's a bit skeptical about it. But I've been a navigator. Mm. Um, I've been a navigator before um, for a practice route with one of the rally drivers in Uganda. Okay. Um, away from, from, the, the, from, from uh, motorsport, um, which uh, you've played way too many games. Uh, take us through uh, about the most frustrating games you've ever been part of. Um, the most frustrating game I've played maybe was my debut here. I think um, I, I put a lot of expectations on my shoulders. I wanted to do a lot of things and I didn't play as good as I wanted. Mm. But um, I later realized that my team has told me that you should just be calm and enjoy the occasion. And yeah, I've been trying to adapt slowly but surely. And maybe another game is the Uganda Cup final when I missed the penalty. Um, it would have been nice to take the trophy as the captain and okay. for Coach Bajawazul and my teammates. But unfortunately, it didn't happen at the time. Okay. Well, um, uh, you've been part of uh, games where there's actually there are high scores. So, but. Uh, which game uh, would you sit back and say uh, this was the best game I've, I've played because I scored a hat trick and scored more than six goals? Which game is that? Do you have such a game? Have you ever been part of such a game where you, there's a high score, where you, you score a hat trick, you feel happy, your teammates are happy? Uh, take us through that as well. Um, I think my best game was the game from last season, the last game from last season against by the Black Angels. Um, we won the game, I think, 6-1, six, six, and I scored five goals. Okay. I think um, everything in that game just happened for me. The ball dropped for me in the right places. Every move that I tried worked out. And yeah, I think that's been the best game of my career so far, scoring five goals in one game. Okay. Uh, let's go to the coaches, uh, Nelson. Um, who, are your, who are your youth coaches, and uh, who, should, who, who should you choose as your best co coach so far? Um, it would be it would be difficult to choose one because you learn each and every one of the coaches. Um, you pick um, one or two staff from all of them. But I think um, working under Coach Kajoba, he made me his captain and um, he put all his trust in me. He let me play my game. I think um, I'll give it to Coach Kajoba and, and Ian Mutenda at Hope FC. I think they made me um, what I am today and I played my best football under them. Okay. Uh, many footballers have their idols, and I, as Ruben, I have also my idols uh, in football. I'll tell you Juan Sebastian Veron, I'll tell you Pablo Laima, I'll tell you JJ Okocha, I'll tell you uh, Jackson Mayanja, Mia Mia, uh, Jamiru Chambade. So, Nelson, who is that player? Uh, you look at and say, I would love to play with uh, alongside him, or I would love to be like him. Who is that player? Um, my number one idol is um, the Brazilian Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nazario de Lima. 
watched a lot of his videos on YouTube, and um, I would like, uh, if I would hear football, I would like to be like him because um, he was very agile, he had speed, he was quick, he was powerful, and he was literally unstoppable. Every time he stepped into the pitch, you could see the fear um, among the defenders, and yes, if I would want to play with someone today, maybe probably Neymar and Mbappe at PSG. They make football look so fun. They're, it's like they're playing in the park with their friends. They create many chances, and yeah, it would be good to play with them. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Uh, the, uh, Dalima scored uh, two goals in the final in 2002 against Germany. And that, that same Dalima scored a hat-trick at Old Trafford uh, against Man U. I know uh, your idols was really a good player. And if you ask me for me, I have watched number nine, Nelson. And Dalima, yes. nobody can compare with Dalima. There's nobody. I know uh, there's a bad suitor. We had Thierry Henry. You had uh, uh, Raul. Yes. But you can't compare them with Dalima. Dalima was a special player. I agree with you there. So, uh, Nelson, let, let's go to the defenders. Who is that yes. best defender you would love to be part of? I mean, of, in, in modern day football, you would say that as, as such a, a defender defends well and is composite. Who is that defender? Um, I think right now it's Virgil van Dijk. Um, he's very big, he's very solid, he has speed as well, and he's very intelligent. I think um, it would be very difficult to play against him. Okay. And also a player like Sergio Ramos, who's, mm. who's very hard and he's... Um, always aggressive. Mm -hmm. Strikers usually don't like dress aggressive defenders because anytime you think he's going to come through, he's going to clutter you. So I think mm -hmm. right now those two defenders are at the top of their game. Okay. Um, there, we have three best leagues in Europe. We have the Premier League, the Serie A, and La Liga. So, so Nelson, uh, which league would you prefer playing, uh, okay, being part of as a football player? I think everyone wants to play in the Premier League. It's the biggest league in the world and Yes, being a Liverpool fan, I would love to play for Liverpool in the Premier League. <laughs> if you had a chance to play, there are three strikers. There's Firmino, there's Sadu Mane, and there's uh, Mo Salah. Who, who yes. do you think you can replace in that Liverpool side? <laughs> right now, I don't think I'll replace any of them because they're playing right at the top of their game. Okay. So, yes. Nelson, we've got to go. We've got to go. Your final remarks as uh, you say goodbye to UBC TV uh, viewers and, of course, your family. Um, I'd like to thank UBC TV for having me on this show. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who's watching right now, my fans, my family, my sister in the UK who's streaming live, my brothers, George, AB, Morris, Noah, my mom and dad as well, and all my friends who are watching, Team Nelson, Emma, um, Okot, Mahad, Shafiq, and Phenom Sports. Thank you. Okay, Nelson, we've got to go, we've got to go. Have yourself a lovely day, and thanks so much for talking to us. Of course, we shall get to you some other time, but say hi to the people in Morocco, and they should stay home and keep safe. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. Okay. Uh, that's Nelson Senkatuka, uh, the Uganda Crenza player, and of course, the player uh, who plays uh, for uh, Mogreb, but uh, twice in Morocco. He says that Dalima is actually his idol. Yeah, and I agree with him. Dalima was a special player. Those who never watched him play, you missed out on gold. I watched Dalima play in 98, uh, 2002. And of course, I watched him play for Madrid and Inter Milan. He was a special player. Arnaldo Dalima Nazario. And Nelson Sekatuka says that he's his idol. He would love to be like him. I don't know whether Edge, Edge might catch up with Nelson. <laughs> he might not live to achieve his dream. But of course, we've been talking to him. And we thank Thank him for the time he's given us. And uh, UBC TV will always get the best for you. And we know uh, what trickles your mind. And those are the players, the stars. Um, and I thank the team uh, that has been uh, behind all this production. Um, Abdul Nasa Famba, Eddie Moesi, uh, Baratoro, Nasa Mukasa, Baby Engineer, Davis Kamukama, so many other players, Fakul Wama. We thank you so much uh, for the good work done. And I know that... Uh, with such a productive team, everything is possible. Up next is actually GM, GMU Extra. Jagan is already here. He will be telling us about the new cases and, of course, who uh, 